Hello everyone, welcome back. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to just sit down and share with you some of my summer favorites. There are a lot of great products that I often get asked about. There is makeup, some new hair care favorites, there's some fashion, I even snuck in some lifestyle. So let's just get started. All right, let's start with beauty. And the first item is the best sunscreen that I have ever tried. And it is the First Day Beauty Weightless Liquid Mineral SPF 30. I love this stuff. I wear it every single day. I apply it over top of my moisturizer and it just glides on so easily. It's super lightweight and best of all, it does not leave behind any white residue whatsoever. I don't know why, but most sunscreens can leave my skin looking very like gauntly and sick like, but not this one. This one has like a really nice tint to it and it just makes my skin look even more healthier and dewier than before. And best of all, it does a really great job at protecting my skin from the sun. I've yet to get a sunburn. Next up is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. Now I used this in my last makeup tutorial and I had so many questions about it and it is incredible. Incredible. Now, if you like like a bronzy, dewy, like glowy base, then this is the product for you. I'm going to show you what it looks like because it's so gorgeous. Okay, this is not doing it justice, but it's absolutely beautiful. And then days where I wear more makeup, like today, I like to mix it in with my foundation and it just gives my skin like this really healthy, glowy, dewy finish. I love it so much. All right, next is a super cool new product and this is the Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen. Now I have wanted a product like this for so long. You guys already know my brows are my weakness and this product here makes filling them in like pretty much foolproof. All right, so it's so easy to use. It has these like three little prongs right here, like little markers, and you just draw on your eyebrows. So it creates these like little hair like strokes. I'll show you. They look like that. You can see them there. I have the shade light brown. And at first I was a little underwhelmed when I tried this because it's not very pigmented, but actually it ended up being such a great thing. So the first day that I used this, yeah, I put it in my eyebrows. I didn't really love it. And then later that day I went into the washroom and I looked at my eyebrows and they looked so natural and feathery and soft and yeah from that moment on I've just been using this but I used it today and I will overlay some footage from this morning so you can see like what a natural soft difference this product makes it's beautiful all right, so do any of you watch Hindash's makeup tutorials on YouTube? They are so calming and beautifully done. And I swear he can make you fall in love with any product. So thanks to him, I found my new favorite pink lipstick. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess. And yes, I still keep it in its box. I really love, like, I don't know why, but keeping the boxes that things come with. And I live in a condo, so it's really not practical, but it just looks so beautiful every time you take it out of the case. I love it so much. But I find it so difficult to find, like, a really great pink, and this one is absolutely beautiful. Let me swatch it for you. Oh, it's just this, like, really creamy pink color. I absolutely love it for summer. But this is what it looks like. I'm wearing it today. Uh, but it's just such a really soft, beautiful pink color. And it's like the perfect everyday lipstick. I'll swatch it next to Pillow Talk so that you can see the difference. So Pillow Talk is typically my go-to and this is just a much more neutral, a little bit darker of a pink color. So you can see it here. They're very similar, but I think this one's a little like brighter and a little bit more fun for summer. All right, let me put it back in its box. And they also have one in Jennifer. I'm pretty sure it was inspired by Jennifer Aniston and it's like a really beautiful rose color. So I really wanna try it for fall. So let me know if you've tried these. All right, I have to mention one more lip product, and this is the one that I wear when I have like really light makeup on, maybe no makeup, and I just want my lips to look really like healthy and shiny. And it is the Ilia Bonnie Gloss Tinted Lip Oil in the color Only You. This is the perfect everyday lip color. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let me swatch it. I still have the lipstick swatches from before, so I'll just put it right beside. All right, look at this color. 
it's this one right here. It's so beautiful. It's incredibly comfortable. Just makes your lips look really healthy. It's not that sticky. It definitely feels like more like a lightweight oil on your lips. Sometimes I forget I'm even wearing it, but absolutely beautiful. And this has been like my go-to everyday color. I have to turn the air off while I'm filming and you can just watch my hair get like progressively frizzier and frizzier from the humidity, but it's all good. Ooh, all right, let's talk about fashion. Fashion. I get so many questions about my jeans. Like I am such a denim lover. I'm a denim fanatic and the style that I've been loving is the Levi's ribcage denim. I absolutely love this style of jeans. It just gives me like a really like vintage feel. Now, typically I wear the wedgie style, but these ones here, they come up like just an inch higher on your waist. So I find them super flattering because they hit at the smallest point. They just kind of like suck me in and I think that they are so cute. Now, the only thing that I don't like about these jeans is the width on the ankle. It's a little bit wide. Let me show you. And I'm used to like the wedgie skinny fit. It's a little bit skinnier, but the fit of these jeans are so good that this doesn't even bother me that much. But hopefully they'll come out with like a rib cage skinny fit and this can be a little bit tighter. Now in saying that, that these are my favorite, I just ordered a pair of like a high rise relaxed fit Levi. They're kind of baggy on the ankle. They're super cute. So I'll keep you guys posted if they replace these ones as my favorites for fall. All right, if I'm not wearing my rib cage denim, I am wearing these and these are the the Lululemon Align six inch bike shorts. I love these shorts so much. I asked you on Instagram what you thought of the bike short trend and it was split pretty much 50-50. Now, if you're someone that doesn't like this trend, I highly recommend trying it. Like if you're someone that wears leggings, these are just the summer leggings. They're extremely comfortable. Like I love to throw these on with an oversized tee. And then I'll layer like my favorite gold jewelry over top, throw on a pair of sneakers. And and it's just like the perfect casual yet looks kind of put together outfit. I love it. Now, these were so hard to get my hands on. So if they're sold out, just keep refreshing, keep checking. They should come back in stock. And if you want more of like that bike short look, then I would recommend getting the 10 inch. You can always like pull them up and shorten them if you want to. All right, I have to include this next item because I haven't taken it off since I got it. And it is this beautiful gold herringbone necklace. And every time I wear this in, in a picture or a video. I get so many questions about where it's from because it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is the Rio necklace from Elizabeth Lynn, which is a Canadian jewelry company. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Like I love the way it catches the light, especially outside. It's so beautiful and it was really affordable as well. And I just think it layers so beautifully with all of my other necklaces. And I just think it completes the look. Next, I really wanted to share my favorite book from the summer. Hopefully you get as excited about books as I do. And this one, it had to go to Homegoing by, yeah, I believe it's Gussie. And I absolutely loved this book. Like just mentioning this book right now just gives me chills. It was so incredible. My description is not even going to do it justice. And I really don't want to spoil this book for any of you, but this book is fiction. It follows the story of two sisters in the 18th century and then it follows their descendants and it tells the stories of them as they go through like slave trade, the civil war, the great migration, segregation, but it follows all through their family history. It's truly inspiring. It's engaging. Like I could not put this book down from the moment that I got it. I typically read books uh, through the library and I actually purchased this one because I loved it so much and I really Really want to revisit it. You know, there was a lot of history that I learned from this book that unfortunately I did not know, but I am trying my best to educate myself on topics that I don't know a lot about. And I'll be forever grateful that I decided to read this book. So I would highly recommend it to any of you. All right. So every morning when I read, I like to enjoy a great cup of coffee. So I have to give a shout out to my French Press. Now I purchased this at the start of COVID and it has yet to let me down. Like sometimes I'll use like a really nice expensive coarsely ground coffee or sometimes I'll just use basic Folgers and both always taste 
delicious. And I like to top it with some frothed vanilla almond milk and it's absolutely delicious. Also, it's super portable. Like I took this with me camping the weekend before last and yeah, it was amazing. I love this. All right, let's chat hair. So first I wanted to share the Bumble and Bumble BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil Soft Texture Spray as a favorite. But then I tried their Invisible Oil Mask and this one bumped this one right off the favorites list. They're both great, but this one is absolutely incredible. So it says it instantly infuses dry hair with moisture and nourishment. So I recently got my hair colored and then I went camping. And when I got back, my hair was so dry feeling. So I reached for this and it made a huge difference in my hair. And another reason why I love this one so much is because you just leave it on for three to five minutes. So you use this in the shower, which is super convenient because every time I think of using a hair mask, it's usually right before I'm about to wash my hair, so it's too late. So I just really love that this one is quick and it's really great because my hair didn't just feel like really soft and shiny the next day, but also the next day and the next day. So if you have dry hair, you're looking to add some moisture, then I would definitely recommend checking this out. Next hair favorite, which I also have a little bit of a problem with, but we will get to that, but it is the Playa Soft Volume powder. Now this is the first product from Playa that I've ever tried and I love it. It's so cool. So I'm going to show you, but it's unlike any other like volumizing powder that I've tried because it's not sticky. It doesn't leave a residue behind in your hair, which I love. It's nothing worse than washing your hair putting all this product in it and then it just feels like greasy and built up, but this doesn't do it. It's almost more of like a dry shampoo. So I just rub it between my fingers, super dry feeling. And then I just place my fingers in my roots and just gently kind of zhuzh it in there. And go up here. Mm, and it smells good. Like it's more like natural smelling than perfumey. I really like it, but it just adds like really soft, manageable volume to your hair. I love big hair. And throughout the day, it does fall a little bit flat, but you can just like go in, reactivate it, and it gets nice and big and voluminous. Look at that. It's so big and soft. I love it. Now, my biggest problem with it is it's super messy to use. This has to be like it's beautiful packaging, but one of the worst packagings I've ever seen. Like the lid doesn't have a correct lid. It just has the sticker that gets full of the powder. So now there's no way to seal this. We even tried spinning it like a salt and pepper shaker or something, but no, nothing. So you can't take this anywhere and you have to store it standing up. So bizarre. Next hair care favorite is the L'Oreal Paris Ever Pure Sulfate Free Brass Toning Shampoo. I have to mention this because this was a total savior for my hair the past couple of months when I couldn't get it done. It just does such a great job at removing brassy tones and like neutralizing the blonde color of your hair. So the longer I go between salon visits, the more golden my hair gets. And I really love this one. It just really subtly removes the brassy tones without drying out my hair. It's really great. Oh, and I love that this is a drugstore, especially when I was younger. It was impossible to find like a really high quality purple shampoo at the drugstore. So this one's really affordable and I would definitely say it compares to the higher end ones just for a fraction of the cost. Okay, I have to mention this next product because it has been a total game changer this summer and it is my Dyson Airwrap with this brush attachment. It's incredible. So I haven't really been going anywhere lately, so I've gotten a little bit lazy with my hair. So what I've been doing after I apply my detangler and my oils is I let my air air, I let my hair air dry to about 90%. Now if I let my hair air dry to 100%, it's just gonna dry like really frizzy and dull looking. So 90% is the perfect number. And then I go in with this and I just start brushing my hair and it literally dries my hair in like less than five minutes. It just leaves my hair looking so soft and so smooth and with like minimal effort. Like it looks like I spent so much time like round brushing and blow drying my hair, but I didn't like literally less than five minutes 
You can check my social media while I do my hair. It's so easy to use and yeah, it saved me a lot of time. So there we have it. Those are some of my summer favorites and I would love to know what you've been loving this summer, whether it's a memory, maybe it's makeup, hair related, I don't know, anything. Leave a comment, let me know, I'd love to see. But if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll be sharing some hair tutorials very soon, so stay tuned and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you next time. Bye.